The world is full of weird creatures and beasts. Just look at you. Yeah, you. You're gross. Take a shower. But uh, not right now. Watch the video first, yeah? Each and every year, experts unearth brand new species of animals we'd previously know nothing about. And today, we're gonna focus on the oddest of the odd. These are the 20 strangest creatures recently discovered. Number 20. A Rainbow Reef Fish, Xerilabris finifinma. Ah, the mysterious Xerilabris finifinma, known colloquially as the Rainbow Reef Fish or the Rose-Veiled Fairy Wrasse, this vibrant creature is nothing short of a spectacle. Found only in the Indian Ocean, this fish is like the Katy Perry of the marine world. Colorful, flashy, and a guaranteed crowd pleaser. But what makes this creature so unique? Well, for starters, its name is an absolute mouthful. But that's not the only impressive feature of the Rainbow Reef fish. They're known for their bold colors, which vary from bright pink to electric blue and are sure to make heads turn. These fish are also quite the entertainers, often displaying playful behavior that would give any clownfish a run for their money. They're curious creatures and aren't afraid to come up close and personal with their fellow ocean dwellers, a quality we could all learn from. But make no mistake, living in the reef can be a dangerous game. With predators like the larger groupers who are always on the prowl for a tasty snack, the rainbow reef fish has to stay on their fins to avoid ending up on the wrong end of the food chain. Now it's time for the odd topic. This creature might be the strangest living thing on our planet. And yes, it's real. As those of you who proudly have eyes can tell, this photo, which if you don't know was taken in China, shows three peculiar little creatures that are best described as looking a bit like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, but with a face that suggests they've just had to pay an enormous tax bill. Snapped by a renowned and celebrated wildlife photographer, he claimed that he has never seen these creatures before. And to be honest, neither have I. The oddest thing is that they all seem to be wearing loose-fitting t-shirts. This suggests one of two things. Either they're capable of crafting tools for themselves, not that far-fetched, apes can do that, or perhaps somebody else found them previously and made the shirts for them. What do you think these little critters are, and why have they only been seen in China? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Spiny Lizard, Celeporus Sweet Shoal. Get ready to meet the spiky superstar of the reptile world, Celeporus Sweet Shoal, also known as the Spiny Lizard. Found exclusively in the mountains of western Mexico, these creatures are as unique as they come. Their most striking feature, without a doubt, is their spiky exterior. With an armor of sharp scales covering their body and tail, it's safe to say that this lizard means business. They're a true example of the age-old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. But don't let their menacing appearance fool you, these creatures are anything but aggressive. In fact, they are known for their entertaining and curious behavior, often indulging in a game of chase or basking in a warm spot of sun for hours on end. One of the most amazing things about the spiny lizard is their ability to adapt to their environment. Whether it's scaling the trees or hiding in rock crevices, these creatures know how to survive in the most unforgiving of terrains. They are a true marvel of the reptile world. They may be tough on the outside, but they're soft and cuddly on the inside. It, just kidding, don't try to cuddle with these guys unless you want a few scratches to show for it. Oh, and make sure to subscribe and like the video or you'll get a visit from this spiny critter and it'll crawl all over your face. Ouch. Number 18. Miniature Gecko. Scientists have made a dazzling discovery, describing eight new-to-science species of geckos, all measuring roughly the length of your thumb. But that's not all. In the stunning Montaña de Ambre National Park, Madagascar, researchers thought they were only collecting one species, but to their surprise, they stumbled upon four different ones. 
Madagascar, a landmass larger than France, broke off from Africa 150 million years ago and has since become a laboratory for evolution. With over 90% of its species found nowhere else on Earth, this island is truly a wonder. Montaña de Ambre National Park is home to the most diverse group of species on the island, including over 60 species of reptiles, 75 bird species, and at least 25 species of mammals. But that's not all. Many of the new reptile species found in Madagascar over the past year have been incredibly tiny, like the fabled Brukesia nana, possibly the smallest reptile on Earth. The newly discovered gecko species are no different, coming in at roughly 2 inches from nose to tail. So cute. Experts have noted that their small size may play a remarkable role in the way they speciate. As very small animals, they are generally less able to move from one area to the other, making them more likely to get isolated by barriers like rivers cropping up between populations, which is the perfect situation for the creation of new species. Number 17. Tiny New Tree Frog Species Found in Rewilded Costa Rican Nature Reserve where are my frog people at? Jokes aside, for this discovery, we're taking you to the heart of Costa Rica, and what we're about to share with you will blow your mind. Donald Varela Soto was on a mission. For six months, he tirelessly scoured the edge of a wetland in the Tapir Valley Nature Reserve, a former cattle ranch nestled between two volcanoes in search of an unfamiliar sound. And boy, did he discover something truly remarkable. A new species of frog. The Tapir Valley tree frog, as it's now known, is minuscule, barely the size of a bottle cap, and it boasts a striking bright green body with a distinctive yellow line that runs halfway around it. Soto and his colleagues have given it the scientific name of Tlalahoica Celeste, paying homage to the turquoise waters of the local river, the Rio Celeste. Unfortunately, scientists believe that this tiny frog may be critically endangered, with its only known habitat being the 20-acre wetland of the Tapir Valley Nature Reserve. When Varela Soto and his partner recognized the importance of protecting and restoring the forest, providing crucial habitat connectivity for wildlife, their mission was to save the tapir. And just think, if they hadn't protected this area, they may have never discovered this adorable little frog. Number 16. Hylosherdus Seth McFarlane Subadult You won't believe what just hopped up on the scene. We're talking about a new species of frog discovered in Ecuador, and it's been named after none other than Seth McFarlane, the creator of Family Guy and all-around king of comedy. The Hylosherdus Seth McFarlane, as it's officially known, was spotted on a mountaintop by a researcher who just couldn't believe their eyes. With playful polka dots that practically pop off its skin, it's no wonder this little frog has been turning heads. According to Rainforest Trust CEO James Deutsch, naming the frog after Seth was a no-brainer. It seemed perfect to name this frog, with its playful polka dots juxtaposed with its most likely threatened status, after Seth, who's known more for his comedy than his dedication to science and conservation. With the naming of this polka-dotted wonder, we're crossing new boundaries in how we bring attention to threatened species, and we're all for it. So far, only four individual frogs have been found, all within a few square yards of ridgeline atop Cerro Mayordomo, a mountain on the edge of the Amazon basin. This area has been described as steep and relatively inaccessible, which makes the discovery all the more exciting. However, since scientists don't have enough data to assign a conservation status for this new frog species, it's up to us to make sure they get the protection they deserve. Number 15. Atala Jellyfish have you heard of the Atala jellyfish, aka the Coronate Medusa? With a bell shape that can range from 0.79 to 6.85 inches in diameter, it has 20 marginal tentacles and one mega tentacle that's larger than the rest. And it's not just for show. This hypertrophy tentacle is thought to help Atolo Ivoli capture its prey. This species also happens to be bioluminescent, creating a series of flashes when under attack. 
Known as the alarm jellyfish, these flashes are designed to draw bigger predators towards the jelly itself, so the ones that are threatening them run away in fear for their lives. It's pretty smart if you think about it, and it's inspired some pretty cool human inventions too. Marine biologist Edith Widler developed a device called the e-jelly that mimics the Atala jellyfish's flashes, and let me tell you, it works. In an expedition financed by Discovery Channel and NHK to find a giant squid, the e-jelly successfully lured in the elusive creature. But as if all that wasn't enough, Atala Wivelli has one more trick up its sleeve. It can reproduce in two different ways. A this species develops polyps that produce buds, which eventually grow into larvae. Or a tallow ivily can reproduce. It all starts with the jelly grabbing onto another of its kind with its mega tentacle, pulling themselves together for some serious mating. Number 14. The Glass Squid Let's talk about the family Cranchiidae, aka the glass squid crew. These bad boys are found in open oceans all over the world, ranging in mantle lengths from a measly 3.9 inches to a massive 9.8 feet. And let's be real, the name glass squid is pretty spot on. These squids are transparent as heck, making them masters of camouflage in their partially sunlit environments. One thing that sets these guys apart is their short arms, which are loaded with suckers and hooks. Third arm pair enlarged. Talk about extra. Oh, and let's not forget about their eyes. They can be large and circular or telescopic and stalked, making for some seriously varied eye candy. Oh, and did we mention that many cranchiid squid are bioluminescent? They've got light organs on the undersides of their eyes that they use to cancel out their shadows. Plus, they've got an ace up their sleeves when it comes to buoyancy. These squids have a fluid-filled chamber full of ammonia solution that keeps them afloat. Pretty slick. But perhaps the most striking feature of these transparent squids is their digestive gland. Basically the equivalent of a mammalian liver, this organ is cigar-shaped and usually held in a vertical position to reduce the squid's silhouette. Sometimes there's even a light organ present on the lower tip to make them even more invisible in the water. All in all, the glass squid fam is pretty wild. Number 13. Vogelkop Superb Bird of Paradise, La Farina Nida. All right, y'all, let's talk about the crescent-shaped La Farina, or as we like to call it, the Vogelkop Superb Bird of Paradise. This bird belongs to the Paradisiidae family, and it can only be found kicking it in the Bird's Head Peninsula in New Guinea. And let's be real, with a name like Superb, you know this feathered beauty is gonna be an absolute stunner. Now, this bird wasn't given superb in its name for nothing. It's got striking black plumage that absorbs a whopping 99.95% of light. Talk about goth goals. This La Farina was first described in 1930 by Ernst Meyer, but it wasn't until 2017 that it finally got the recognition it deserved as a full-fledged separate species. And when it comes to courting, the male Vogelkop is a total ladies' man. He's got some pretty unique behaviors that set him apart from his bird of paradise cousins. And we're not just talking about his impeccable sense of style. This dude knows how to put on a show with his crescent-shaped cape and all. So if you're ever in the mood for some serious bird watching, make sure you keep an eye out for this crescent-shaped La Farina. He's a real looker and he knows how to put on a show. Number 12. Olinguito Becerician Neblina it's time to talk about the Olinguito, the newest and most adorable member of the raccoon family, Procyonidae. This adorable little mammal is all about that mountaineer lifestyle, calling the cloud forests of western Colombia and Ecuador its home. But in case you were wondering, the name Neblina, Spanish for fog or mist, is a nod to its chill habitat. This little dude didn't even exist in the eyes of science until 2013, when it was officially classified as its own species. And let me tell you, the Olinguito did not disappoint. The International Institute for Species Exploration declared it one of the top 10 new species of 2014, which is basically like winning an Oscar in the animal kingdom. 
Now, the Olinguido may look like a tiny fluff ball, but this carnivorous frugivore is at the top of its game. It's got a killer appetite for fruits, think figs, insects, and nectar. And let's just say its feces are about the size of a small blueberry. No wonder it's such a solitary, nocturnal creature. Despite its small size, the Olinguito doesn't play by anyone else's rules. It's different from any other member of the Olingo family, making it a true original, and with an average weight of just two pounds, it's officially the tiniest Procyonid around. Number 11. White-Cheeked Macaque, Macaca leucogonies. We're about to introduce you to the newest member of the macaque family, the White-Cheeked Macaque. This bad boy can only be found in specific pockets in Tibet and northeastern India, making it pretty exclusive. Now, the white-cheeked macaque isn't just your average monkey. In fact, it was only discovered in 2015, making it the most recent species to join the macaca fam. Chinese primatologists were the first to describe this elegant creature after noticing differences in physical characteristics between it and the Assam macaque. For starters, the white-cheeked macaque is rocking some seriously stylish whiskers that cover its entire face, giving it that rounded appearance we can't get enough of. Let's not forget about the thick neck hair, it's all about that volume, baby. Additionally, there's a very big difference in the shapes of the genitalia of the two species. The Assam macaque sports an arrow-shaped structure, while the white-cheeked macaque has a more rounded one. While we don't know the exact conservation status of this stunner, we do know that it's likely threatened by poaching, and with deforestation and human development on the rise, there's no telling what the future holds for this beautiful creature. Number 10. Lyoproctus Zephyr the researchers at Curtin University are back at it again, and this time they've discovered a new freaky deaky bee species. It's called Lyoproctus zephyr. That's right, bee lovers, you heard it here first. Now, what makes this bee so special, you ask? Well, it's not just the fact that it's a native species found in Perth bushland, although that in itself is pretty impressive. No, it's the fact that it got its name from the author's dog. Wait, what? According to Dr. Kit Prendergrast, her pooch, Zephyr, played a key role in providing emotional support during her PhD. We totally get it. And the bee also has a dog-like snout. This species has only been observed in a handful of locations throughout southwest Western Australia and mostly forages on two plant species of Jacksonia. It is completely absent from residential gardens. Looks like these bees are true hipsters, sticking to the more obscure and underground spots in urban bushland areas. And did you know that there are 200 bee species belonging to the Lyoproctus group? These little guys are usually furry, black, though some have an orange, red, or metallic blue, green, gold, or red abdomen, and range in size from 4 to 16 millimeters. Number 9 purple frog, Nasicobotrichus sahiadrensis. Okay, so have you heard about the purple pig nose frog? If you haven't, get ready for a wild ride, because this little guy is a trip. Yes, it's a real frog, and yes, it's purple, but not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> This isn't some bright neon purple that you see in your Aunt Linda's hair, it's more of an earthy, subdued tone. All those photos depicting a super bright, vibrant purple color aren't real, just someone that got a little too happy with Photoshop. This frog spends most of its life underground, you know, like a cool mole frog hybrid. And to make things even weirder, this frog's got a snout like no other. Yep, it's no pig nose, it's a pig nose on steroids. It's so pointy, you'd think it belonged on a cartoon character. The purple frog's body is round and lumpy, making it look like it's been eating too many flies. But that's not the case. This little guy's just super well-suited to living underground. It's got tough claws on its short little legs, which come in handy when digging through all that loose soil. Oh, and let's not forget about its super strong skeleton and front skull. The weight of all that soil can really do a number on you, you know? Number 8. Lysula Circopithecus Lamamiensis this bad boy is an old world monkey and a member of the Gwenin genus Circopithecus. You can find them hanging out in the Lamami Basin in the Congo. 
And let me tell you, they are a sight to behold. Here's the thing, locals had known about the Lasula for a while, but the rest of the world didn't catch on until 2007. Yeah, that's right, we're slow learners. It wasn't until 2012 that we confirmed it was, indeed, a new species. Hey, better late than never, right? Now, what sets the Lasula apart from other monkeys? Well, for starters, they've got some amazing eyes that look almost human. And as if that wasn't enough to make other primates jealous, they've also got a blue butt. Adult males have a huge patch of bare skin on their behinds, testicles, and perianal area that's a very brilliant and vibrant blue. But despite their bright colors, these monkeys are a quiet and shy bunch, preferring to hang out in small family groups. They spend their days doing leisurely things like foraging for food and chilling in the sun. Who can blame them, really? But here's the thing. The Lasula is in danger. They're hunted for bushmeat, and species with such a limited range can quickly become seriously endangered. We need to do our part to protect these gorgeous creatures so they continue living their best lives. Number 7. Frilled Shark, Chlamydocelicus anguineus. The frilled shark is a mesmerizing creature that has earned the title of a living fossil due to its ancient eel-like features. The shark has a dark brown color and an elongated body that reaches a length of 6.6 .6 feet. Its unique physical characteristics include amphistyle, which refers to the articulation of the jaws to the cranium, as well as dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins located towards the shark's tail. The frilled shark has six pairs of gill slits at its throat that resemble fringes, hence the name. There are two species of frilled shark that are found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. They typically reside in the outer continental shelf and the upper continental slope, where the ecosystem is biologically productive. To survive, they feed on cephalopods, smaller sharks, and bony fish. The frilled shark engages in deal vertical migration to nourish itself by feeding at the surface of the ocean at night. What makes the frilled shark unique is its hunting method. It captures its prey whole with long and flexible jaws equipped with 300 recurved needle-like teeth. Ouch! The frilled shark's embryos develop in egg capsules within the body of the mother shark. The shark pups hatch within the uterus and emerge from their egg capsules to feed on yolk. The gestation period can last up to three and a half years to produce a litter that ranges from two to 15 shark pups. That's a lot of kids at once. Number six, giant golden crowned flying fox, Asuridon jubitus. With a name like that, you know this one's gonna be special. The giant golden crowned flying fox, also known as the golden capped fruit bat, is an endemic species of megabat found in the Philippines. Among all bat species, it is one of the largest, weighing up to 3.1 pounds. The giant golden crowned flying fox boasts the longest forearm of any bat species, measuring at an impressive 8.3 inches. This bat primarily feeds on fruit, including a variety of figs and leaves. It spends its days in tree roosts and becomes active at night to forage for food. These roosts can be composed of thousands of individuals and often include other species, such as the large flying fox. Information about the giant golden crown flying fox's reproduction is scarce. It gives birth to a single pup annually from April to June. Predators of the giant golden crown flying fox include raptors like eagles, humans, and the reticulated python. However, due to deforestation and poaching for bushmeat, the species is currently an endangered species. Though hunting and trading this species is illegal under national and international law, these regulations are insufficiently enforced, putting the species at risk. Even in strictly protected roosts, tourists who disturb the bats during the day on purpose pose a severe threat to its survival. Number 5. Leafhopper Phlogis kibalensis. A scientist has discovered a unique insect in Uganda that has leaf-shaped genitals. The newest species of leafhopper was named Phlogis kibalensis, and it was found in the rainforests of Kibale National Park in western Uganda. Despite its small size, measuring just 0.2 inches long, the male P. kibalensis stands out. 
It has partially leaf-shaped reproduction organs, which is characteristic of most leafhoppers. The Phlogis genus, to which the insect belongs, is an extremely rare group. The closest relative of this genus was last observed over 50 years ago in the Central African Republic. Imagine that! For half a century, they flew under the radar. While conducting fieldwork with students at Cabale National Park, Dr. Alvin Heldon of Anglia Ruskin University discovered this new species of leafhopper, an event that he considers a once-in-a-lifetime achievement. Leafhoppers of this genus and tribe are known for their unique appearance and are quite uncommon. They are so rare that their biology is generally unexplored, and very little is known about the P. kibalensis, including its dietary preferences and its ecological significance within the local ecosystem. Number 4. Yangshi Giant Salamander, Andreas Jiangxiensis the Yangshi giant salamander, native to China, is a rare and unique amphibian that has fascinated scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. The species is the largest of all amphibians, measuring up to 5 feet long and weighing around 110 pounds. The creature has a wide, flat head, small eyes, and large, flat and slimy body which makes it resemble a small crocodile. These cute fellas prefer to live in fast-flowing and clean rivers. Their diet includes anything that they can swallow whole. They are nocturnal creatures and they use their sensitive sensory organs to navigate in murky water and locate prey. However, these salamanders are facing an uncertain future due to habitat destruction, environmental contamination, and over-harvesting for food and traditional medicine. The salamanders are revered in traditional Chinese medicine, where they are used to cure ailments ranging from bruises to impotence. Unfortunately, there are only a few thousand Yangshi giant salamanders left in the wild, making them critically endangered. Efforts are being made to conserve and protect this wonderful species. Some organizations are breeding and raising the salamanders in captivity with the hope of reintroducing them into the wild once their habitats have been restored and protected. But due to their declining numbers, more work needs to be done to ensure their survival and for the continuation of their fascinating history through future generations. Number 3. Southern Maned Sloth, Bradipus crinitus. The Southern Maned Sloth, scientific name Bradipus crinitus, is a unique mammal native to South America. Found primarily in the Amazon rainforest, these slow-moving creatures are fascinating in their own right. The Southern Maned Sloth is similar to other species of sloths in that it is a master of energy conservation. Due to their incredibly slow metabolism, they can survive on a diet of leaves and buds for weeks on end. This interesting animal derives its name from the long hair that grows from their shoulders and necks. Unlike other sloths, the main sloth's fur is generally a darker color, ranging from dark brown to black. They have a large and compact body structure with relatively short limbs, which makes them more adept at moving through trees. Unfortunately, due to habitat loss and deforestation, the southern Maine sloth is becoming increasingly endangered. Conservation efforts have been undertaken, including the establishment of wildlife reserves and education programs for local communities to promote sustainable practices. However, more research needs to be undertaken to understand more about their ecology and behavior and to aid conservation efforts. Number 2. Sponge Crab, Lamarctromia beagle. The newly discovered crab species, affectionately known as the fluffy crab, belongs to the Lamarctromia genus and made its debut in 2022. These delightful creatures can be found dwelling in the Indian Ocean and along the picturesque western coastlines of Western Australia. One remarkable trait of the fluffy crab is its clever use of camouflage. These crafty crustaceans sport an ingenious disguise, adorning their shells with sea sponges to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. Draped in a luxuriously shaggy, surprisingly soft fur, the Lamarctromia beagle boasts a fluffy coat that not only adds an element of charm, but also provides an additional layer of protection against would-be predators. With nimble movements, these resourceful crabs scuttle along the ocean floor, diligently collecting sponges and sea squirts. 
Using their tiny little pincers on their hind legs, they secure their precious acquisitions in place. Interestingly, they exhibit a fondness for creatures that produce unpleasant chemicals, probably because it keeps those pesky predators at bay. The discovery of the fluffy crab was a complete accident, as it was stumbled upon by a family while they were just having fun at the beach. They sent the specimen to the Western Australian Museum for further examination. This chance encounter led researchers to delve deeper into the museum's collection, and they discovered that they had specimens of the Lamarck Dromia beagle in their archives dating back as far as 1925. Number 1. A super-snouted frog, Synapteranus danta. Discovered in 2022, the Synapteranus danta frog has leapt into the spotlight with its unique tapir-like features, earning it the moniker Tapir Frog. Measuring a petite 0.7 inches, its velvety skin showcases an earthly brown hue adorned with occasional splashes of yellow or orange spots. This captivating coloration has sparked fascination, drawing comparisons to none other than the chocolate frogs from the Harry Potter series of books and films. Venturing deep into the basin of Peru's Putumayo River, this elusive creature calls this remarkable habitat its home. The discovery began with a juvenile male measuring less than a third of an inch. As if in a magical quest, two more specimens emerged from underground when the researchers detected an intriguing beeping sound. These enchanting creatures were found dwelling beneath the roots of Kluja trees, a hidden world waiting to be explored. As you can see, we haven't even begun to uncover all the hidden species this planet has to offer. There's always a next creature waiting to fascinate and mesmerize us. Out of all these beautiful, adorable, and curious creatures, which one is your absolute favorite? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.